Oh, I think for me, it's it's a riff on haunted house horror. It's also a gothic romance. It's also um, a bit of a psychological horror. I mean, it's also um, exploration of the mind. Um, I think I loved uh, from the beginning since I read the script the idea that it was many things and that it uh, it, it is a uh, it tended to transform before your eyes. No, not at all. I feel very fortunate to be working at all. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, it's always a joy to get to do this. And uh, I have yet to get used to the fact that people will let me shoot things. Rebecca is a dream for a director. Um, she is open to anything. She's fearless. Um, she trusts the vision. Um, it's a huge leap of faith for an actor to step into something like this, given the material. Um, and um, she has an ability to go places that I are beyond my reach, um, even conceptually. And um, she is the film. And, um, uh, I think it's I think it's an incredible performance. I think uh, time, you know, I mean, these it's an independent film shot the film and um, yeah, in a very, very compressed schedule. And so we're moving quickly. We don't have a ton of time to question anything. So uh, oftentimes, uh, just in the same way, Beth is kind of out on a limb in her experience, so is the film in some ways. And uh, we don't know what we're gonna get. It's all very, very intuitive. Oh, I always have such a hard time with this question because there's so many. Um, I, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I have found myself drawn to French New Extremity at times. I have a, there's a special place in my heart for movies like Martyrs and Inside, although I get that that's a bit of an acquired taste. Um, I think in recent years, I think it's tough to beat it, follows the witch, you know, the, the, you know get out. The usual suspects, Baba Duke, are all really quite astonishing pieces of work. Um, I have a special place in my heart for um, Cemetery Man as well, Della Morte, Della More um, from the 90s. I think that was just formative and was really my doorway to Giallo, but um, there's so many, you know. I think early Cronenberg was a big influence. Oh, um, I, I, I just, I feel like I draw inspiration from so many different places. Um, Werner Herzog, Cassavetes, in the spirit of performance. I think I go back to a lot of that. I mean, I think I did a VHS uh, short uh, called Amateur Night, and the primary inspiration for that was Cassavetes' husband's. I like really grounded um, performances that have a little space and horror. It almost feels inappropriate, but that kind of speaking into a genre film. And so um, I think that's a big inspiration. Um, I also love a satirical component. So. Um, you know, sometimes finding something that's a bit funny, network comes to mind, uh, bringing it back to filmmakers. I mean, Venture, Noe, Cameron was formative. Um, I mean, there's so many. I think, I think if there's a thread to all of them, I would just say mindfuck, if that's a subgenre. <laughs> um, Anything that bends the brain in strange ways, um, I'm kind of drawn to. Uh, I, think, I think some of my favorite movies fall in line there. Um, but as far as stuff that I haven't gotten to explore yet, I think science fiction horror is massively underserved. Um, I could spend all day long talking about how Terminator is a perfect movie. Um, I, think, uh, I think we all should put a little more into that. It's kind of tough to get by, but that's something. My hope is that the night house hits a nerve. Um, it, it, there's a rhythm to it that uh, is maybe a little different than the haunted house movies that you used to in so many ways. And I, I think it punches a little bit harder in some strange places. I just think it's a unique take on the genre and um, and it's scary as hell. And uh, on, on, on the most primitive level, you will be frightened.
Oh, there was an influence of the Night House in particular. You know, we talked a lot about Mark Danzelowski's House of Leaves, actually, which was a, a book that I was really inspired by. And early conversations with Ben Collins and Nick Petrowski, the writer, as we were getting to know each other as friends. We just thought people don't do this enough in the genre. Um, geography horror, changing spaces, spaces as the language of the mind, the terrain um, of a mental landscape that just felt um, like it was something that should be put to camera more often. Um, so I think that was a that was a big influence. I have an appreciation for both. I don't know. I haven't directed a feature film that I've written. I've um, I've written feature films. I'm trying to get them made as well. Um, and uh, but I wrote, you know, all of my shorts. Some of them in collaboration. And um, while I think. There is a, a certain intuitive understanding when the words are coming from you as the director. There's also so much that comes out of collaboration. So um, sometimes the spirit of somebody else's take on the script, um, both Ben and Luke for Nine House, and then I got to work with Joe Bart on the ritual. Um, I think that closing can also be, um, uh, you know, very, very, uh, it can bring about interesting surprises. That you don't Yeah, the uh, new VHS was, we got a really excellent team together. We got Timo and Simon Barrett back, um, and uh, uh, Chloe Okono and uh, Ryan Browse have jumped in. And, uh, uh, and then um, uh, just really, really excited about it. I think um, VHS is something that ought to exist. Uh, the movies are so much fun. We just felt like there ought to be more of them. And so um, I think we, been developing that for a couple of years now. So I'm just eager to be a shepherd and, uh, you know, sorry, not so much a shepherd, I shouldn't say, just to shepherd the process of um, getting it to these great filmmakers and then kind of uh, get out of their way. And, and, make the film. Um, uh, and it's awesome to see the results coming back. And I'm just a fan to be honest with you. I joke about the word elevated, just like anybody else in the genre. I mean, I guess the, I guess the thing is that um, horror has always been metaphorical. Um, it's always been about deeper themes and deeper ideas. I think, I think the fact that that term is used more often is really indicative of um, the fact that you know buyers and studios have taken bets on those kinds of movies in a way in, in recent years that they hadn't before. And um, people are coming to recognize that horror is not lowbrow, that there's a lot that you can do with the genre. And it, it can be um, a prestige experience. It can be a, a dramatic experience. It can be uh, complicated and artistic and avant-garde. And so I think audiences are opening up and being more receptive to those types of films. They seem more educated about the genre. Um, maybe at least in my experience, and this is anecdotal, than they were you know, 20 years ago necessarily. But, um, um, uh, I think that's, you know, a combination of the uh, distributors and, and, and a handful of really marquee horror films in the last 10 years. We are, yep. It's a it's, reboot, it's not a remake. Yeah, oh, okay. Never, I would never remake the 1987 <laughs> It's a dream for a director like me to step into that world, um, to have the support of Clive and um, to allow ourselves to, uh, you know, uh, take it in our own direction to some degree or another. Um, it's a big universe and there's a lot of things that can be done with it. And I think, um, look, I share, I, 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 I share the enthusiasm of the fans and that, you know, this is a universe that should be explored further. And so, um, we're just excited to get to do that.